and bringing me back to court. But once they brought me back to court, then of course, then the people tried to get some evidence on me. They couldn't. So they had to go get PG and that nigga cut that was driving the truck to tell the tale that they heard me tell the police that it was mine. And they know that the brick that blow was mine and the shit was mine. Now they got them niggas to come testify. So the whole time, I don't even know these niggas that came to testify on me. Bro, so I'm I'm got to fight the shot, but I got this nigga here. This nigga telling me that, man, don't go to trial, man. I'm like, why don't go to trial? You know what I'm saying? He's talking about, man, because they're going to testify against you if you go to trial. I'm like, man, they did not already came to court and signed the swan. I had to take the stand and sign a child statement. Baby, right now. Say, bro, so hold up. So did, did so BZ really told on you or what he did? Yeah, yeah, so he had been, you know, you see, like, okay, when I, when I, when I went down there, this how it happened, man. You know, he was messing with my tea lady, man, with my mama. I know you heard about messing with a girl from Houston, you know, with my mama. So he was messing with her, and then we ended up moving down there. I had my own shit going on in Houston, bro. And I ended up going to, going to New Orleans. He messing with her, and ended up coming over at my house. I see what I got going on. They wanted me to come down there to New Orleans with him. I went down there to stay with him, you know what I'm saying? His mama all up standing in the house together. We stayed there for, for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I brought some smoke down there, you know, grinding and everything out with him and whatever. No, he ain't had shit going on, so we was really helping him. He was still fucked up. So 